And after a long ass time of driving. Hey folks, tonight we're gonna be trying out the Urban Bourbon from Ben & Jerry's. I'm back home. Burnt caramel ice cream with almonds, fudge flakes, and bourbon caramel swirls. Being at the very bottom of this for the description, I had to give this a shot. It's fucking vanilla ice and Eric combined. And here's the first impression. This is gonna be a first for a Ben & Jerry's review. We're getting some mix-ins. Caramel swirls. Pretty much everything in the first bite. Now, let's try it out. Oh my god. This is a spoon drop moment. Oh. My. Lord! That is f delicious. I've had a great time on this trip so far. I'm deciding to throw in the towel. There's a gigantic storm about to hit the middle of California right now. And it's been raining all day today and all day tomorrow it's going to be storming out. I've done three food challenges. We've almost raised about $500 and I'm stoked about that. I'm gonna to try to make it all the way back down to San Diego tomorrow. It's gonna to be about a seven hour drive. I've only done 43 miles so far during the Cal Food Vacation, so Hopefully I'll be able to get more miles in and raise more money with the bike riding. All the money I'm gonna be donating at the very end of the week. It kind of sucks because I was having a really great time with this, but uh, yeah, if you are doing food challenges every single day, it's gonna catch up with you. I'm gonna have fun on my break. I'm not gonna push my body to the absolute max. That's what this is all about, fun. We're gonna make it back tomorrow and hopefully have a good rest of the week. Cheers for California vacation. Yep, time to go home. I, you know, I think what we're talking about. Da, 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 da. Have a movie, rest of your week. Bye. It's great. I, I, I thought Sex at Dawn was amazing. It's oh, I like that. no guest, right? So last night I did. And after a long ass time of driving, I want to say like seven hours, I'm back home. I got to go get Mass Effect that just came out. Feels good to be home. And gaming again, of course. Hopefully this one isn't gonna suck. Character creation, that's where it gets really interesting in Mass Effect, apparently. That's it, man, yeah. That is the Mass Effect character of a champion right there. Boom. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, this is gonna be so fucking epic. It's fucking Vanilla Ice and Eric combined. If Vanilla Ice ever even had a fucking afro. Boring salad. Mass Effect is pretty good though. Well, it is good to be home. Live fast, die beautiful. Well, folks, I have no idea how long that ride was, but all I know is that it blew my fucking mind. It doesn't matter whether you lift weights, whether you run, or whether you fucking ride bikes. There's always gonna be someone out there better, stronger, faster, you get it. Do what you love because you fucking love to do it. I'm gonna go home because my ass hurts and I need food. I'll see you guys later. And all right, everybody, so I am back officially back in San Diego and it is almost 5 30 right now I'm about to go down to the coffee shop right now and do some stuff on the computer but I will show you guys what I got at the store so you guys know I always get this stuff actually I'm not going with vanilla just normal unsweetened pizza sauce as well and then next right here I'm gonna do a uh, salad tonight so I got some cabbage and then I picked up sourdough um, this is actually 99 cents so on sale good stuff right there sourdough is one of the best right there I still have to get through my cinnamon raisin bread though uh, Green Giant Asian Medley, good stuff. Also want to get some more sweet potatoes as well. Right there, we got some some pudding mix as well. And then Puff Gamut, this is good. I'm going back to this. I also have some more of that Honey Bunches of Oats. So I'll tell you from the last grocery haul, uh, the last grocery haul in the last video. Cauliflower, right there. And then rice cakes, the usual you guys have seen from me. Apples. And then I'm probably gonna be doing some grilled chicken tonight, so I got this as well. We're putting that right there. Frozen strawberries. Yogurt. 
And of course, you guys know me, I had to get some diet. And then over here in this bag, we have also some tilapia as well. I'm gonna be starting to do more fish. I just, when it comes to fish or chicken, guys, I am a big fish fan, so doing chicken and fish, but probably gonna be doing a little bit of both tonight, I don't know. Then we have some imitation crab. And then we are trying something new, everybody. I just saw this from my teriyaki brand that I love, Soy Soyve, um, the normal very teriyaki is what I normally get, and they came out with an Asian honey barbecue sauce. Boom, this stuff looks absolutely amazing, and it has new on it, so of course I have to try it, so I'll probably be trying that tonight. Uh, and I'd say next we have some snap peas right there, some mushrooms, some Brussels sprouts, of course, stevia right there, of course, and then let it, there we go guys, let the suspense build. Urban Bourbon, this is gonna be next Ben & Jerry's review. So, burnt caramel ice cream with almonds, fudge flakes, bourbon caramel swirls. So that will be the next one that I'm going to be reviewing right there. Uh, and then after that we have some frozen strawberries. I decided to get some graham crackers. I don't know why, but cinnamon of course, because cinnamon is the best. And then some egg whites right there. You guys know that I'm a big fan of egg whites. And then we have some coffee as well. I had to get some more. And then some frozen veggies. So that is the grocery haul, guys. I will see you in the next part of the video. Hold on. I gotta turn the spotlight on for this one. Much better. So today out of my ride, I realized, you know what? It's been a long ass time since I've made pizza. That's a problem. And we have to fix that problem. And when you realize you forgot to buy cheese, of course. I like the cast iron method here, guys. Nick Cannon will probably agree with me. Eh, it sucks when you don't have cheese, but oh well, at least you got veggies. I thought I'd try out House of Cards again, first season. Not gonna lie, the first few episodes have sucked pretty bad. And some cinnamon graham crackers with some chocolate chips. That is another old favorite of mine. Alrighty guys, so it is Friday right now. Just getting done with, I did a little Instagram live stream this morning and I'm doing some work on the computer right now. Doing some more client stuff. I got another client yesterday and it's, I'm just so excited for all of this. I'm, I don't know why, I'm just like happy and I'm just really excited to uh, explore a new passion of mine. So, and I'm also gonna be planning on seeing my sister. She's in town today as well. So I'm gonna say I'm at 100 miles for the entire Califudication. So that means $100 donated. Let's see if we can get more onto that as well today. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And I just saw it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Sweet. Just my look. Alrighty guys, so it is Friday right now. I'm actually in the car. After my ride, I did, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I think I did about 50 miles today. I was gonna go in and train today, but my sister is in town right now, so I'm actually driving to meet them. Probably not gonna be taking my camera in with me. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what is going to happen. Two hours later. Oh, what's up guys? So right now, I'm about to make black bean burgers for the first time ever. Let's see how this goes. Not gonna lie, I only bought these buns because they were like 99 cents on manager special.
What can I say, guys? I'm actually pretty damn proud of how that came out. We gotta try the double black bean burger first. Let's just hope they taste as good. Oh my goodness. That money shot though. I'm beyond proud of myself right now. You have no idea. Definitely give this recipe a shot. Alrighty folks, tonight we're gonna be trying out the Urban Bourbon from Ben & Jerry's. Now, last time we tried out Oats of This World and it was pretty decent, but this is a new flavor and with burnt caramel ice cream with almonds, fudge flakes, and bourbon caramel swirls being at the very bottom of this for the description, I had to give this a shot. And here's the first impression. This is gonna be a first for a Ben & Jerry's review. We're getting some mix-ins, caramel swirls, pretty much everything in the first bite. Now, let's try it out. Oh my God. This is a spoon drop moment. Oh my Lord, that is delicious. I have no words. I, I honestly have no words here, guys. This is absolutely mind blowing. Wow. Goodness gracious, the sweetness is just out of this world, but not oats of this world. Oh, and that is the big bite right there. Mm. So you guys can see that there's like a little caramel mix in right on top right there. If you guys caught my latest review, the base on Oats of This World was absolutely amazing and the same is the case for this one. I get a huge burst of, it's kind of hard to describe, it's a very heavy caramel flavor to this, which is great. There's a lot of caramel going on in here actually, so it makes perfect sense. It's kind of odd though, I'm getting more of like a, like a weird coconut flake to this and it's kind of strange to me. Like there's coconut flakes in here, which I don't think there is. I will say that there's a downside to this and there's a lot. There's a lot of fudge flakes. It kind of throws it off because I don't want it to be like, at least for me, I hate when my ice cream is too chewy. Honestly though, everybody, apart from the uh, the mix-in overload with the, the fudge flakes and the slight coconut flavor to this, or I should say slight coconut taste, this is a spoon drop pint. I'm gonna have to give this a nine out of 10. Go try this out. And alrighty folks, what's going on people? So it is Sunday and it's about almost five o'clock right now. It is the end of the Californication experience that we had this week. Didn't ride my bike today, but I did put in a lot of mileage over the past three days. So I decided to take a rest day today. Overall, after all the food challenges, after all the miles that I put in, I ended up by my rules and everything, raising $225 myself. I believe the actual GoFundMe from everybody else got up to about $500, I believe. I could be wrong. There are a few hours left in the Californication, technically, so uh, I could even get more. That is insane, everybody. I'm so excited that I'm able to do that, or that I did do that. I mean, that's just, it's mind-blowing to me. I, I honestly, I could talk for hours about what went on this week and how I felt and what I did. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video already or when I will put the clip in, but after I got done with the Brutozilla, I just honestly like just felt completely like garbage. I really, I just, I couldn't do another challenge after doing three in a row. Within that short time period, everybody, it begins to add up. I like to always preach about being, you know, moderate and uh, being balanced with everything. And guys, it just, it, yeah, it begins to catch up on you. We'll just leave it at that. I, I came back after the first day and I, I want to say that I was ready to go right back into the swing of things, but I ended up taking a big rest day right when I got home. I didn't do anything and then had an awesome day right after that. Felt full of energy just because I had that big rest day. And I honestly need to have more of those, everybody. I need to um, take days, days like today where I don't, you know, ride and then go lift. It's easier said than done for me. I just, I hate being uh, one of those guys that just isn't doing anything with their day. I woke up today and just edited a video and then played some Mass Effect and then came to the gym. <laughs> That's been my day to day. I didn't do any cardio or anything like that. It's gonna be interesting to see with just, I guess my old like outlook and everything. I love not having to, to care about doing all this activity to justify uh, my, you know, high caloric intake. I mean, it's just, it's 
something I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life, unfortunately, and uh, just not caring about where I go in terms of fat gain or weight gain and everything like that is just, it's it's a new mindset for me. I'd say it started coming upon, you know, started really hitting me a few months ago, and just to really experience it firsthand is good. But at the same time, I'm, you know, I'm still going back to, you know, needing to structure my days differently. Um, I really, 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 really like the fact that I'm doing this online coaching thing now. Full into the swing of things. I mean, I booked two new clients this week, and uh, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I plan on going and getting, um, well, I should say you can do it online, but getting my certification, um, either CSCS or uh, NASM. To my knowledge, you can do CSCS online. I could be wrong, and I'm probably gonna get flamed for being wrong if I am. I don't know. I'll get flamed for something. <laughs> you know, I, my head's in a million different directions like it always is. I go through these different uh, phases of being motivated and uh, just wanting to do new shit and then just not caring at all. And that's just the way I am personally. So if you guys are a bit confused right now, I apologize. Now, would I say that I had a fulfilling spring break and I, you know, I did so much stuff. I was super happy the entire time. No, I wasn't. But then again, I'm used to that, I guess you can say. Just being honest. I could have been on some random ass party boat in Cabo San Lucas drinking all the beer in the world, but would that make me happy? Who knows? I'm not gonna babble on any longer, guys. I really, again, had a great time just doing this whole charity thing with Califudication. Uh, so yeah, I really wanna do something in the future. Uh, if it's not for mental health, it's just for something else that I'm passionate for. I've always wanted to do something in regards to eating my eating abilities for charity. So if you guys like the video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Give the video a like, a thumbs up if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Go, 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 go. Go now, go, go, go.